So now what we want to do is we actually want to start loading content into our main web page, but from an external page. And what I've got here is a simple PHP file, quote, dash git dash single dot PHP, that if not passed any parameters, is going to wind up creating a random quote for us based upon what's stored inside of the database. And if I refresh this document, every time I refresh, I'm getting a new link. Now, because it is truly random, sometimes I'll get the same one two times in a row, three times in a row. Sometimes I'll get one, get a different one, then get the same one. That's just because it's random. And this is a simple example. If we wanted to be really complicated, we could go in and create a way to make sure that that didn't happen. But for this process, this will work just fine for what we want. Now, what I want to do is I want to take this content and put it into our web page. And there's a couple of ways that I can do this. I want to show you first the really quick, easy way of doing this. So I'm going to go into our text editor that we're using today. So now inside of our text editor, once again, inside of our dot ready function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new selector. Now I have a selector that's specifically designed to hold these special random quotes that are going to be kind of randomly coming into our system. If I scroll up, I'll find a div ID equals single, and this is going to be where those single random quotes are going to start appearing. Down inside my document.getReady, I'm going to go ahead and create a new selector for that single. Now, there is a load method that I can call, and then all I need to do is specify where do I need to load my information from. So I'm going to say dot load and then give the URL. My URL, because I'm relative to where I currently am, and that quote dash git dash single dot PHP file is in the same directory, I don't have to worry about specifying where in the directory structure, where in my host name am I getting this from. Single quote, specify the string for that file name. It is important to remember the extension, in this case .php, but this could be any file I want to. It could be an HTML file, it could be a PHP file, it could be a text file, it could be anything that I need to be on any type of server, just depending upon what the servers will support. I'm going to close my parenthesis and put a semicolon at the end to finish out my command. I'm going to save this document. I'm going to switch back to my browser. Click on my tab for my famous quotes. And reload this page. Now when the page loads, you can see I have my new quote. And if I reload it again, I'm going to start getting different quotes. And the quote provides both the quote and who said it. And that's how I have a very simple way of displaying my text.